The Cayman, also known as Cayman, represents a novel Belarusian armored reconnaissance vehicle. It stands as the inaugural domestically developed armored vehicle of Belarus, originating from the creative efforts of the 140th Minsk repair plant. In 2015, the Belarusian president issued a directive to craft an indigenous versatile armored vehicle, culminating in the unveiling of initial prototypes in 2016. Subsequently, the Cayman underwent its inaugural state assessments in 2017. Notably, eight units of the Cayman armored vehicle were exported to Côte d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, for employment in internal security, and these vehicles were showcased during a military parade in 2018. In 2019, the Belarusian Special Operations Forces 103rd Airborne Brigade received its first shipment of nine Cayman vehicles. The year 2022 witnessed the Cayman's presence in Angola during a military parade. The Cayman is constructed upon a significantly modified chassis derived from the Soviet BRDM-2 armored scout car, albeit boasting enhanced contemporary design elements. Initial production models featured adapted BRDM-2 hulls, while subsequent iterations incorporate freshly fabricated hulls. Distinguished by a redesigned hull, the Cayman offers a more spacious interior than the original BRDM-2. Moreover, its partial V-shaped design contributes to enhanced resistance against landmines. Notably, the addition of doors on both sides facilitates quicker and more convenient entry and exit for the crew and passengers, even doubling as protective shields if necessary. Noteworthy alterations encompass the comprehensive redesign of the front section, wherein the two forward armored windows with shutters have been replaced by a broader bulletproof windshield. To bolster situational awareness, angled side windows have been introduced, a marked departure from the limited driver's field of view characteristic of the original BRDM-2. In terms of protection, the Cayman exhibits a relatively modest level akin to the BRDM-2. It can withstand 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds in its frontal arc and offers all-around protection against 7.62mm ball rounds and minor caliber artillery fragments. Interior-wise, a small liner lines the interior surfaces. The Belarusian Cayman's external aesthetics share certain resemblances with the Fennec reconnaissance vehicle, although lacking the sophisticated sensor suite of the latter. The Cayman accommodates a crew of two alongside four scouts, with room for an additional four passengers in emergency situations. Its versatility extends to roles such as reconnaissance, patrol, escort, and more. Additional configurations for signaling and internal security roles can be accommodated. Armament options encompass roof-mounted weaponry like 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine guns, as well as a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. Moreover, potential exists for installing other armaments, including small-caliber cannons and remotely controlled weapon stations. The driver benefits from a 360-degree view via cameras, augmented by a GPS navigation system. Propulsion is supplied by a Belarusian D-245.30E2 turbocharged diesel engine, generating 176 horsepower. This engine, produced by the Minsk motor plant, propels the vehicle to a maximum speed of 110 km per hour. The Cayman boasts a 140-liter fuel tank, providing a range of up to 1,000 km, outfitted with bulletproof wheels capable of limited travel post-penetration, the vehicle also features a central tire inflation system for improved off-road mobility. Standard equipment includes a self-recovery winch. Amphibious capabilities are present, allowing the Cayman to reach speeds of up to 8 km per hour in water via rear water jets. Notably, water entry requires no preparatory measures.